It is almost time for the Easter Bunny to make an appearance in our houses for the big day, right? Easter is known for colorful baskets, and those baskets are usually overflowing with milk chocolate bunnies. You got some jelly beans in there, and of course, the sugary peep. So that means we are overloading our kids with candy and a lot of sugar, but is it possible for the Easter Bunny to deliver more healthy treats? Well, we certainly think so right here on the show, and that's why you brought in one of our friends and health expert, we have Karen Owak, who always has such amazing mm -hmm. ideas. You are such a creative cook and a healthy one yes. at that. Yes. Yes, so so how do we celebrate Easter with our kiddos without giving them a sugar coma? Well, I have five key principles. Okay. And number one, let's start with the brownies because uh, this is a good example. Try to include some type of plant-based food. Okay. So guess what's in this one? I have no clue. It looks absolutely delicious. I want to eat it right now. That's my you plant based food. You got spinach in there? Spinach. Yeah, Shut up. <laughs> what? There's spinach in this. That doesn't look like spinach. Okay, so what did you do? How did you so sneak those, the spinach in? Those are, so what I don't do, I don't try to sneak vegetables in. Okay. I, I embrace them so my kids I like enjoy that. Enjoy the vegetables. And, Excellent. And, and I'm marking this. This is mine for later, by so, the way. So, and also, so that's one key principle. And okay. then also, try to load up on the whole grains and this is whole wheat flour so whole wheat flour and spinach yes. is in this brownie this okay one. you know what i'm gonna take it also right very uh you want to use healthy fats so this is there's, oh, that's good there's very little uh fat in here it's just uh olive oil mm -hmm. two tablespoons of olive oil and the rest is from ground flax seeds so Ooh. lots of omega-3s this is good this is very good. I mean, if you need a chocolate fix, moms, watch it. <laughs> this is a really Get good alternative, too. Get your spinach in at the same time. Yeah, so this is really, really good, Karen. Okay, yes. good. So good. that's one example, but you one have example. many others, too. Yes, so we have the chocolate chip. This is made with oat flour, so again, the mm -hmm. whole grains, and rolled oats, zucchini. There's our no plant-based. Yes, zucchini's in here as well. And you were also telling me, though, too, you used um, a bean flour, right? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. bean flour, uh, fava bean. Fava bean flour. Fava bean and garbanzo bean. Oh my goodness, okay, yes, and these yes. look absolutely fluffy and moist and delicious. Yes. What's over here? These are tofu cookies. Really? <laughs> yes. How did you use tofu in a so cookie? So I mashed up tofu and then I added some gra grated carrots. Okay. Uh, also dates for sweetener mm -hmm. and, and raisins. So it's almost like a carrot cake, if you will. Some people say it does. Yeah, a little bit like because you got the carrot. raisins, you got the carrot in there, yeah. so that's a very, very eastery type very. of dessert. Yes, that's mm. for our little bunny here. A little bunny, <laughs> or your little bunnies at home. Okay, and then over here, because I'm going to be making these, by the way. Okay, so those um, are gluten those free. Those so, that I have the little tag on there. Mm -hmm. Those are gluten free. Uh, rolled oats. Rolled oats. Oat flour, and also a berry puree. So okay. just sweetened with uh, apple juice. No way. Yeah. So very, very simple too. Very simple to minimal make. Minimal. That is really easy to make. Mi minimal baking right here. Yes. That's nice yeah. and easy. Uh -huh. Okay. And then how do we make the, oh wait, what is this? this that is, is a, a lentil uh, oat granola. Oh really? Yes. Uh, it's sweetened with banana nut. You know, uh, granolas are very high in fat. They certainly sugar. can be. Yes. yes. Yep. So I have no added sugar. Okay. It's just the ban banana puree uh -huh. and uh, the, the dates. Oh, yes, dates are yes. such a fantastic yes. natural sweetener. Right. I've discovered that myself right. recently in the kitchen. Uh -huh. Big, big fan, especially if you can puree it uh -huh. and use that as like a nice little kind of like binding base. It's, yes. They are so naturally yeah, if sweet. Yeah, you could make a date paste. With, yes. 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 That's it's, what I do. Oh, oh, see, I learned from her. I've been learning from her. And you can too. So those are lentils, so you have that extra protein. Oh, great. Yes. Oh, so that's a nice little protein punch. And here's my little that. fun. Thing. That is adorable. <laughs> Check this out. So you took a Rice Krispie treat. Yes, I stuffed them with the, some, cute. some little that treats so inside. Cute. I made that one for you. Oh, thank you. And Your there's daughter. treats in here? Yeah, there are treats inside. No way. That's yeah. a brilliant idea yes. inside yeah. the cone. Yeah, and one, so, one, I wrapped one for your, your other daughter. Too. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> How kind. Thank you yes. so much, Karen. Okay, so, and uh, basket you, ideas. Basket ideas. I love these little basket, uh, these little containers. These are cocoa nuts. Mm -hmm. These are just cocoa, a little bit of maple, maple syrup, and a tad of coconut sugar. Okay, so you got plain almonds, and then you, you rolled them in maple syrup, and then... Uh, cocoa powder? Uh, this is cocoa powder, yeah. And that's it? Co 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 cocoa powder. Wow, yeah. that's a brilliant idea, yeah. too. And I always like to include some kind of toy. Of course, <laughs> yes. 
and a book. Uh, traditionally, I've always included a toothbrush with my kids' baskets. That's a great idea. Yes. Yeah, and kids get really excited about anything that's brand new, and especially when it could be something like a toothbrush, then you know they're gonna be excited about yes. their oral health as well, yes. yeah. which is always a win-win as well. Um, I love these too as mm -hmm. a parent. Not mm -hmm. only is it a great way to kind of you know give your kids the gifts that you've made them, the goodies that you've mm -hmm. made them, you can reuse these in lunches. Yes, and it's good portion control. Oh, yes. other good yeah. point as well. Good point. I see dried fruit. Is that what this is? Uh, those, yes, it mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. Strawberries, berries, apples. Mm -hmm. uh, I, with my kids, I always used to wrap every individual package. So another quick way to do it is with the little gift Cute. bags. Oh, those yeah. are adorable. Yeah. So they have a little surprise to open. Yeah, and that's always a part of the, the fun with the festivities when you e can do something exactly. like that. Hence the the cone that you made that is absolutely <laughs> adorable. Um, this is just a small example of some of the amazing ideas that you have. Um, they're creative, they're fun, they're engaging for the kiddos, they're healthy as well. Where can our viewers go to find you, Karen, so they can get their inspiration too? Uh, KarenO.co. KarenO.co. <laughs> Very easy. Thank you so much, my friend. I You're love welcome. it. And as I mentioned, the date paste, I learning from her, so you can too. So make sure you check her out online. These are great ways to celebrate Easter with uh, you know, with your kids that you and those that you love as well. And also instill not only healthy eating habits, but ones that are inspiring and that they can carry forward, you know? Exactly. Eat, eating healthy doesn't mean you have to eat cardboard or things that taste like cardboard. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, yes. it can all be very Just like tasty. the brownies. The, seriously, this brownie is fantastic. <laughs> I would eat the entire thing right now if I could, but I have to I have, I have more of a show to do. Okay. And then I'd have like chocolate on my teeth, but I'm going to be inhaling it after the show. I can guarantee that. And my producers will confirm that for you. Karen, thank you so You're much. Welcome.